Hey guys, it's Michaela, and today I'm going to walk you through three different ways to reset or change your Apple ID password if you forgot your Apple ID password. It's pretty quick and simple, so let's jump in. Two of the ways are off of your iPhone themselves, and then the last way will be off of your computer. Um, let's go ahead and jump into the quickest and easiest way. Number one would be to go to settings in your phone, go to your name, go to password and security, click change password. All you have to do is type in your phone code, that password to get into your phone, then just put in a new password and that will change your password. All you have to do is type in the new one, verify it and hit change, and then you're good to go. The next way, which gets a little bit more complicated, is going to um, iCloud.com. So we're gonna do that now. And then once it loads, I'm going to say use a different so I can show you so it doesn't automatically load me in. You're going to go ahead and put in your Apple ID here, and then you're going to hit a forgot Apple ID password. It'll bring you to the iforgot.apple.com, and you'll be able to reset your password here. You put in your Apple ID, you hit continue. You'll have to verify a few different things like your phone number, depending how long or how many times you mess up on this information. It might ask you for like credit card numbers that are associated with your Apple ID, um, but that's how you do it from here. The last way is to do it through your laptop. First, you just go to the Apple icon, the top left-hand corner of your Apple or your MacBook, and you hit system preferences as you can see here. And then you're gonna click on Apple ID. From there, you're gonna hit password and security, and that'll open up your password and security, and you can change your password there. Because it's a, a two-factor author authentication, it will send a verification code to your phone, then you'll put in that verification code here, and that will change your password. You'll be able to put in your new password, and you'll be good to go. If you guys have any questions on that, let us know in the comments below. If not, don't forget to like, and don't forget to subscribe.